let's combine rotor brush and generative fill to create this soccer stadium. And I'll also show you later how to mimic crowd movement in the background. Okay, so I have my clip here of a soccer player and I wanna make this into a stadium matching the camera movement. So I'll select my clip and my comp and I'll select the rotor brush or I'll hit option W and with my green circle, I'll select my subject. So from testing this prior to making this video, I'm gonna change my roto version from 3.0 to 2.0 and quality to best. And I'm gonna make sure the rest of my subject is selected. To change the brush size, I'll hold down command and mouse up or down. And I'll select this whole area camera right, which I'll keep my video. Now hitting option W again, I'll switch to my refine edge brush and I'll make my brush smaller and I'll hit the edge of my subject's head. And taking a look at my alpha overlay, I'll preview it. I'm gonna go back to my comp and I'll take a look. Just need to refine his shoulder a bit. So I'll go back to my roto controls and I'll select decontaminate edge colors. And I'll increase the radius. And you can see the before and after here. And now I just wanna tweak his hair a little bit using the refine edge matte parameters and just adjusting the base refine edge radius, bring back some of his hair. I'll lower my feather a bit. From here, I'll save frame as Photoshop layers. Now jumping to Photoshop, I'm gonna select my alpha parts of my image and I'll overlap my subject a bit. Now I'll type in soccer stadium and hit generate. Okay, they changed his face a little bit. That's kind of creepy. And they added a soccer ball, which is good, but I'll use option three. And I'm gonna keep some of this. So I'll select my subject along with the ball while also removing the good parts I wanna keep and I'll hit generative fill. Typing in remove this person. Okay, that looks great. So I'll go layer, merge visible, and I'll save this. And I'll jump back to After Effects. Importing the PSD to my comp, now I have to motion track. So I'll duplicate my top layer, remove my roto effect so it's a clean layer. Now to track, I'm gonna use the built-in tracker in After Effects. Click on Track Motion. And I'll move my track point one to a point of high contrast in the background area. This should work. I'll analyze this forward. And edit target, applying this to my stadium PSD. And I'll hit apply and hit okay. Now after I hide my top guide layer, now I just have to tweak my stadium PSD layer using my anchor point controls. And as you can see, because of the motion, the alpha edges show a bit. So I'll just scale it up. So now we just need some crowd movement. So I'll go to my stadium pre-comp create a new solid and apply the cell pattern effect to the solid. I'll tweak my cell pattern parameters to match the bokeh circles of the crowd. Changing the blending mode of my solid to multiply. And finally creating a mask around my crowd. I'll feather it a lot and I'll preview that. That looks good. And there you have it, the magic of post-production.